Hey guys, EST here, and today we're talking about one of the most important topics I've ever made a video on. It's infections and antibiotics and bacteria. A bacterial infection with no medical infrastructure in some kind of like grid down scenario, a weather event, oh boy, it'll get you quick. So if your current strategy in a scenario like that is, I just won't get a cut or an infection, that's pretty unrealistic. Especially when you're going out and doing things you're not used to, or rushing, or you're sleep deprived, and you're working with knives and blades and nature and animals, and yeah, I would have a plan. And if your plan is this, well, it's better than nothing, but let's start at the beginnings with this. It's your typical triple antibiotic ointment. Uh, this is found everywhere. It's over-the-counter. It's pretty much the only over-the-counter antibiotic because it isn't one. Well, it does say antibiotic on it. I'm not going to get into semantics, but it is made out of... Uh, I apologize in advance for the pronunciations in this video, but... Bacotracin, Neomycin, and Polymycin B. So it's pretty basic stuff. Um, if you get a, a cut or a scrape or something, you put this under the bandage, you're going to do better than if it wasn't there. But would I use this if I could just choose one over hydrogen peroxide or alcohol? Probably not. This has been around so much and it's over the counter, it, it will stop some bacteria, but not much. Still, I have quite a bit. Now, when this expires, it is actually extremely expired. We'll get into what generally doesn't go bad after its expiration date in a bit. But this is nice. It's a couple dollars. You don't need a prescription. Now, pretty much everything else you do need a prescription for, except we'll look at this. A whole bottle of amoxicillin. I wonder how I got that with our prescription. Those of you in the know, look, I'm not going to be cryptic about this. Don't buy this. It's a terrible idea. We'll get into why. This is totally definitely for the fish that I totally have. Um, they're cracking down on that. And who knows what's really in here? That's really the problem with this. Random internet website. Did I look up who Thomas Labs is? No. Does the website even still sell this? No, it's discontinued. I don't know if that was a government thing or a supply thing or what, and I paid a pretty penny for this. I think this is between 20 and 40 bucks even these days. And now you may have noticed this, but I'm not a fish. I know some of you might have had your suspicions. <laughs> Let's just run down the problems with this. One, it's getting harder to find because people were like taking this when they shouldn't, which don't do that. And also, uh, let's see, is 250 milligrams the proper dose for a human being? Well, it turns out, no, for some of my demographics, 875 milligrams is a lot more typical than 250, so this already wouldn't be the correct dose. You would just have to know that. Now, you could look it up and write it on here, but, boy, the price just went up compared to, oh, I don't know, actual prescription amoxicillin. Pardon the uh, censorship job, but I've got all kinds of demographic information on that. And I did get this by prescription. I'll tell you about how in a second. So you were bitten by an animal. Should you use this? Uh, anthrax. Should you use this? Tetanus? Is this the proper treatment? No, by the way, it's not. So you're exposed to COVID. Should you take doxycycline? No, that's a virus. Do not take antibiotics for viruses. It's only for bacteria. But oh no, you've got a skin infection, it's spreading, and it's getting deeper. Should you take either of these? No. So what if you have a urinary tract in infection? Well, that's actually typically treated with ciprofloxacin. And then don't forget about metronidazole. Oh, then there's azithromycin, and there's a little bit of crossover with them, but you can't just say, oh, well, this is specialized for this one thing, but it'll be fine. Any of these will kill any bacteria. Absolutely not. So if you're bitten by an animal and you can't get to treatment because all the hospitals are closed because they're blown up because World War III started, now you've got a problem. It would be nice to have these. Plus a little guide telling you exactly what does what would be nice too, but uh, if you haven't already figured it out, this is a sponsored video. But I would have shouted them out anyway, and when I say the name, you're probably going to know who they are. They are out there doing good work for good people, and I know that you guys are going to use this stuff more responsibly than any doctor or person in China, which is the number one source of antibiotic misuse this year. It is absolutely out of control, and they're killing everybody in the world. In fact, one of my family members died directly because of an antibiotic-resistant infection. So when I say I don't like people misusing these and they should use them properly, I mean it. But this kit that I got is uh, pretty specific on what you should use for what. And I had a doctor check out all of these for am I allergic? Are they proper for my uh, medical history? Will any of these clash with my current medications that I take for other things? Those are all really important considerations. So let's get this one out of here because I think I actually paid less for the <laughs> official doctor, you know, pharmacy prescription ones that are made for humans and are certified to actually contain what they say they are. So let's talk about viruses versus bacteria. I mean, really just bacteria are bigger cells, viruses are smaller. Your immune system isn't quite as good at fighting bacteria. 
And one fact you probably already heard is that you should always take the full regiment of whatever it is for the proper amount of time. Like this one, I believe, is a six-day regiment. These are a little bit longer, even after the symptoms uh, go away, because you might not have pounded down the bacteria count quite to zero. In fact, you almost definitely haven't. And then it could come back. And also, these have absolutely zero preventative qualities. So if you just say, oh... I don't want to catch tetanus. I'm going to be working with, I don't know, soil and rusty garden implements or something. I'll just take, you know, the one that's good for tetanus ahead of time. No, it will only kill bacteria that are already there. And this stuff's out of your bloodstream pretty quick. So the preventative nature of these is like non-existent. You only take them when you need them. And like I said, you really want to run it by a doctor to see if your, your age, your demographic, anything about you and your medical history could cause a problem with these because the last thing you want to do is take like a minor infection or something that you just want to you know nip in the bud and then have a way more serious medical problem because of it now the shelf life on the typical antibiotics is upwards of like five to twenty years which is a lot longer than uh this stuff so get that out of here i still have it because you know it's a lot safer and it's topical and it's over the counter and it's cheaper and historically it does work i am prone to ingrowing toenails so uh, i've had more than a couple light infections there and I still keep around some natural stuff like Epsom salt and all that, but I'm wondering about the limited usefulness of that. Now, a lot of isolated tribes in, like, you know, the rainforest, jungles, Africa, that kind of stuff, or, you know, islands. I know Papua New Guinea, they had all kinds of cool plants and stuff that they would use. And it would be limited effectiveness. I mean, people still died from infections. A lot of them just had really strong immune systems because of where they lived and passed down from their mothers via breastfeeding, in case you're not uh, familiar with how that works. If anybody survived a bacterial infection for something in the local area, that will get passed down to their kids if they were a female. But you might have noticed the last two or three hundred years, us humans really like to move around a lot out of our, our native areas. You know, nothing wrong with that other than, boy, exotic allergies, peanut allergies, that, that originated in Europe because of a parasite that had a similar protein on the surface. So immunity is very, very complicated. That's what I wanted to outline with that. Oh, I'm just going to use this plant and it'll make me all better. Ha, pharmaceutical companies don't know what they're talking about. Well, did you know that all Tylenol in the entire world is made from a plant? Yeah, they have grow houses. That's how you make that. An enormous amount of these medications, even these, are made from plants, funguses, all kinds of stuff. This is from nature, except they tested it and got FDA approval. If there was something out there, they've already tested it, trust me. And let me just say, the only reason that I'm still alive right now, after a very severe UTI that turned quickly into a kidney infection uh, when I was 11, is amoxicillin. And that's when you're living in you know, a clean environment, a modern environment with modern technology and access to modern uh, medicine and stuff. If any of that goes away... Or if all of a sudden you're displaced because of, you know, a hurricane took out your whole state, well, you're going to be dirty, you're not going to be showering, you probably don't have hand sanitizer, you don't want something bad to happen on top of it without a way to deal with it. And there is going to be very limited medical supplies, any kind of supply chains and that kind of stuff. I mean, the Red Cross and FEMA, they might be on their way, but, well, in Hurricane Katrina, eh, maybe not. So preventatively, I mean, you could get a vaccine. I have the tetanus vaccine, and one of these uh, treats tetanus... But let's just say I might still need it. I actually recently got a blood test to prove that I was immune to tetanus and my numbers were off the charts, which is weird, until I told them that I had an allergic reaction to the last tetanus vaccine and they're like, oh, that makes sense. That would result in a very high antibody count, but that will wane over time and I think I'm overdue for a booster. Take a guess if I'm getting it. So I'm glad I got the treatment that would be for that, not to mention UTI treatments. So if you can get vaccinated with a safe vaccine, a non-prescription one, a, a very well-studied one that's been around for, you know, 10 plus years, I would do it. A lot of times it's free with your medical insurance, at least in America, because it's preventative and it's a lot cheaper than the treatments for the actual illness. And yeah, okay, I just said I've had an allergic reaction to one. I've actually had an allergic reaction to two different vaccines. But before I was going to travel overseas to a really sketchy second and a half world kind of country... I looked up what they recommend and got both of those. Because would I rather have hepatitis in a foreign country or would I rather have an allergic reaction right down the street from the hospital at a Walgreens? Hmm, that's a tough one. Let me think about that. So even with my medical history, okay, get vaccinated on stuff that's not too exotic or, or way out there or too expensive or not covered or any of that. But do consult a doctor first. Nothing in this video is medical advice, once again. But uh, cooking properly, that's a big one. You won't need any of these if you don't give yourself, you know, some kind of foodborne illness. Although a lot of stuff in, like, pork is parasitic. This doesn't help for parasites. But, you know, there's a lot of bacteria, too. You don't need E. coli or anything else, especially if you're cooking, like weird exotic meat like you know something well exotic you know a rabbit or a squirrel 
because that's what you're down to. But uh, bad water, I mean, filter your water, boil your water, learn about water safety, and treat injuries immediately before they get worse. Don't just say, ah, that'll scab over. I've got a little thing on my hand, but that's that's what blood is for. I'm fine. Or I just, I put a Band-Aid on, I'm going to forget about it for 48 hours. It's all good. I've got it completely covered. You don't want to do that. Anaerobic bacteria, you do not want to do that. If I had a cut, you know, right there in my hand, I would uh, clean it with alcohol and or, you know, some, there's all kinds of like topical stuff. I mean, th that's where you get into the cool plant stuff. I mean, nice sterile alcohol or hydrogen peroxide that's going to do a heck of a lot better than any kind of thing you get from nature. I'll tell you that right now. That stuff is like a tactical nuke for, for uh, any kind of infection. But uh, I would treat it. I would put, you know, bandages over it. I'd probably put some triple antibiotic on it. And uh, then I would swap out the band-aids as often as I possibly can. And, you know, keep an eye on it, watch for redness, swelling, above normal, see if it gets worse, check for a fever, all that kind of stuff. I would be on that because I like this hand. I mean, I'm right-handed, but this one's nice too. I don't want to cut it off just because of an infection, because of a little cut I got while doing all kinds of crazy stuff in nature because of a grid-down scenario. This ain't the first aid video, but you can look up what to do about, you know, fairly significant gashes and stuff in your skin. It, it's good to know, and it's very easy to understand. And before you start taking internal targeting stuff, like I said, very cheap somewhat effective. But once you understand that these only target bacteria and they each work for different things with a little bit of crossover between them, now you're set to use them responsibly after you talk to a doctor instead of just some random YouTube guy. Speaking of doctors, Jace Medical, they were the ones who helped me out getting this kit and they're the sponsor of this video. After hearing about them on another channel, I was going to make an order anyway and then by sheer coincidence, uh, they ended up reaching out to me. And I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting a kit in this nice little uh, carrying bag. Ta-da! Look how tidy that is. Come on. And they're in official UV-resistant bottles. I mean, this is a proper way to store it. It's childproof. It's kind of the opposite of this. So I had an actual doctor in America check out my medical information and say, hey, this will work for you, or this won't work with your current meds, or because of this health thing, you shouldn't have this, but have this. And then inside here, they got all the different information about what you take when for what and what the treatment is. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to whatever doctor you were assigned by Jace Medical. They've got a really good thing going here, and they tend to sell to responsible people. Um, unlike China, where people just say, well, I want it because I think it'll work. And the doctor says, but you have a viral infection. They say, I don't care, I want it. And that's just how things work there, unfortunately. Even in America, 10, 20 years ago was more of a problem where they say, hey, we want to avoid you know, misdiagnosing somebody with a sinus infection because we thought it was a rhinovirus, but it was really bacterial. So let's just give them the sinusitis medicine and then we won't get sued. And look at the level of antibiotic resistant bacteria we have now. So I guess that wasn't such a good idea. And they're just starting to treat it better, but we're on the verge of having like a complete collapse of any kind of antibiotics, and then we'll be down to just amputations. It'll be like you know the Civil War times again. So that's why Jace Medical is doing it the responsible way instead of, oh, I'll just get some veterinary stuff for my fish, for my cat, for my whatever. So look at this nice little carrying case. Uh, like I said, Jace Medical, link in the description. You guys can save a little money with my uh, link I got down there. And I got to talk to a real doctor who checked my whole you know, medical history and what medications I'm on, checked for all the conflicts and said, well, you need this, this, and this. We can skip these two because you're not a female. They really go hard. And let me just say, this whole entire kit that could save my life costs less than my pistol. A lot less than my pistol, which could also and has saved my life. So, yeah, it's not quite the same price as a uh, triple antibiotic ointment, but for something that could directly save your life and you can just leave on a shelf because the shelf life of this stuff is pretty nutty, especially in a UV-resistant bottle inside of a black case, and with the proper, you know, medical information in a guide with it, yeah, I would invest the money in this if you can afford it. So if you want to talk to one of Jace Medical's doctors and see what kit is right for you and get pricing and all that and just check out, you know, what they're all about, Link in the description, they are absolutely fantastic. You've probably heard about them on other channels. I heard about them and, and I was just absolutely elated because I actually pulled out this stuff. Check that, yeah, it's expired, but I mean, amoxicillin is one of the ones with an especially long uh, shelf life. But still, I intended to write down what a proper dose for a human was and I never did. I would have been taking the wrong amount. And also, this is an incomplete regimen for a human. It's, uh, if you add it up, not equivalent to this one, which is the real one. Boy, I wish I knew that before I ordered it. So I think I'll save that one for my fish, and I'll stick with this kit for everything else. And if you're planning to just leave this on a shelf in case you absolutely need it, aside from a doctor, which only use these if you don't have access to a doctor, that's about the most responsible use that I could possibly think of.
So people get all literally like, oh, aren't you contributing to antibiotic resistance? First of all, no, not more than China, not even close. And secondly, no. Leaving them on a shelf in case you need them in case of emergency is incredibly responsible. So I am just so thankful for Jason what they're doing. So check them out. You can get some crazy good deals, especially if you use my link. And uh, I might shout them out in a couple videos ongoing because they're just that important. It's not just some random thing. It's not my other channel where my number one sponsor is for really cool t-shirts. This is actually important that it's the first sponsor I've actually ever taken on this channel. But that's because they're just that good. And as far as I know, there's no other alternative, at least not in my country. So go check them out. And if you, you live in another country where they don't ship to or whatever, see if there's anything close available to you. But for most of you, hopefully Jace Service is your area. Otherwise, you definitely got some good information from this video. If you agree, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other cool content. And I'll see you guys next time.